colors on his palette are fabricated by a store, but the power of a brush determines a shade does not have to stay the same forever. So oil paint will stay basically workable. It's with the skill of blending paint that artist Ramiro Peña reflects the portraits of veterans who saw different hues in their native countries before giving their life for America's red, white, and blue. A certain percentage of the military is made up of immigrants. Um, a lot of people don't talk about that. Peña is the son of a U.S.-born veteran and a Mexican native mother. Much like the mixture of his creations, Peña grew up with the blending of two cultures. When I first started, I had also the same idea that most of the people that are fighting in the military are from the United States, but they're not. During his undergraduate career at the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley, Peña's diversity deepened. He attended the same university as a woman who did not have the key to equal opportunities as him. She was a dreamer, a person who grew up in the United States, although she was not born in the land of the free. Doing research on the dreamers, I was really um, uh, shocked by some of the things that they have to go through. Through conversations with his colleague, Benya had a change of thought. I sympathized with her, and I figured, you know what, I think it's time that um, I start recognizing uh, individuals that don't fall within that stigma that we consider immigrants to be somehow connected to some type of illegal activity. So he started digging through the internet. News sources such as the Los Angeles Times along with the Military Times and the Miami Herald gave Peña the stories and faces of diversity in our military. And that's what these portraits were for is to kind of look at that different aspect of um, what it is to be an immigrant. Um, and what it is to fight for your country that you may not um, were born from there, but you feel like you want to become a citizen. So in that process, they, they join the military as a way to uh, get their citizenship and uh, fight for the, the country that they love. He compiled 21 portraits. When you align them all together, they recreate the size of an American flag, which a fallen hero is buried with. Although those 21 portraits were hard to find, Benya says he felt like it was his calling. Maybe it was just luck, you know, finding that article from um, LA Times where it talked about situations like what the dreamers were going through, but through veterans that they have a long process they have to go through. We asked the U.S. Army about enrolling in the military despite citizenship status. A spokeswoman led us to GoArmy.com where we found a recruiting program named Military Accessions Vital to the National Interest, also known as MAVNI. MAVNI allows asylees, refugees, and people under temporary protected status to apply for the Army. Recipients of Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, commonly known as DACA, can also apply. According to the website, the qualified candidates will gain an expedited U.S. citizenship by the time they graduate from 10 weeks of basic combat training or accept a commission as U.S. Army officers. The veterans in the portraits did not necessarily go through the MAVNI program. They have different shades of color in their stories, but they have two things in common that caught Benya's eye. The first one is being born in a country other than the U.S. The second is wearing a uniform that upholds them to the standards and values of American heroes. That gratitude and honoring the veterans has always been a big thing. Um, in this particular case, and I think in my future work as well, I, I do want to continue that. Adriana Candelaria, KVEO News Center 23.